Well, here we are in the Jardin Majorelle in Marrakesh. The garden was the brainchild of the French artist Jacques Majorelle way back in the 1920s, 30s. He'd come to Morocco for health reasons and whilst he was out making his paintings, he discovered the land and bought it. He also commissioned Paul Sinoir to build this amazing cobalt blue cubist villa. Unfortunately, Jacques had a terrible car accident in the early 60s and was taken back to France to recover, but he didn't. Unfortunately, he died and never returned to the wonderful garden that he created. And so, over the next few years, the garden fell into disrepair. However, it hadn't gone unnoticed. The fashion designer Yves Saint Laurent had a studio in Marrakesh too, and he kept his eye on it for a while. And when he heard in 1980 that a property developer had plans for the site, he bought it, along with his partner Pierre Berger, and they set about restoring the garden to what it is you see today. It's a wonderful little garden with palms and bamboo, carob and coconut, cypress and agaves. And you can definitely see the Islamic paradise garden influence here with plenty of running water and shade. The garden is now run by the Pierre Berger Yves Saint Laurent Foundation. It is open to the public, of course, and it isn't the biggest of gardens. So if I were you, I'd get there early. Oh, and that wonderful cubist villa is now a museum and gallery. <laughs>